Okay. Activating a thing. You're having a laugh. You think this is going to make it all better, do you? Well, I will bear full responsibility. Uh, on the off chance that I completely and utterly messed up the sound syncing, hey, future Echo, I'm going to. This is going to be in between these two lines about for responsibility. Otherwise, well, there is no otherwise. And otherwise. What are you two bickering about? Your Majesty, what a welcome sight to see you return. Has a problem arisen in my absence? Ah, no, no, just a trifling matter, really. Actually, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands, Your Majesty. Hey, mind you. We have to report the facts as they are. How much longer are you going to leave this hanging, eh? <sighs> What's the problem? A couple of days ago, we had a small run-in with our Agni and opposites. Eisel took care of them, but things got out of hand a little bit. Out of hand, nothing. They insulted Her Majesty's honor. I'm spitting feathers. But we'd no reason to fight. You were the one who earned their ire. Did they come to any harm? You hurt them. I only intended to scare them, but then they resisted. So you sought to defeat them? No! Nothing of the sort! They had no flame clocks, so I would never... The presence of a flame clock is not what instigates a battle. The glimmerings of war are always there, within us. I imagine discovering that fact must have come as quite a shock to you. <sighs> Circumstances aside, if you've incited their wrath, then I assume we haven't heard the end of this. As you said, they have since begun to rally together in opposition. I am ashamed. Truly ashamed. Now that this has come to a head, I cannot but take full responsibility. I will thwart their objective, even if it should cost me my life. You shall not. My goodness, he's taking all the wrong lessons! Do not speak of throwing your life away so lightly. I've already lost so many of my friends. I could not bear to lose another. Your Majesty. I told you, did I not? You are my hope. I will speak to the Agni and Chief Retainer personally about the matter. In the meantime, cool your head. <sighs> Any more unfinished business that I should know about? A couple of house calls to make, Your Majesty. They want you at Colony 9 and the city. Colony 9? So Zeon, then? Indeed. They've asked for some urgent backup following the recent Origin attack. And the other request is from Monica. Wants you to give her people a pep talk. The descendants of Uroboros. I've caused such grief for them. And for an unfathomably long time. But now they get to speak to their real queen. I'm sure they'll be overjoyed. Yes. Perhaps. Speaking face to face with another. There's nothing quite like it. I, sh I guess she'd appreciate that at this point. Um, Nelia? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to be taking up some more of your time. <sighs> now you can cut that out. Agnes or Kevus, soldier or queen. What difference does it make? The future is to be created by each and every person in the world. I think you were the one who taught us that. True enough. Your unyielding spirit gives me the strength to go on. Yay! Sometimes when Melia smiles, I see sadness in her eyes. I imagine her and her counterparts likely see very similar elements to what they once had here. As if she's all alone in the world. Well, presumably she might be the only one left. I am! Well, better start making the rounds. You've got to stop by Colony 9, the city, and... I am vaguely aware that the expansion DLC does deal with other members of the previous games. So... It will be interesting to see if that answers the question. Agnes Castle, right? Safe journey to you all. From atop the throne. Ooh. 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 Oh boy. 
So I assume the quest, yeah, the quest is to go do the other quest. I'm fine with that. A diplomatic mission, is it? Been a while. I will say I'm probably going to keep this on easy until I go to the expansion back proper, so. Nia, this is a surprise. Oh, hello. Don't worry, I know the whole story. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Um, I see you are in good company. <laughs> I like her reaction. She's like, yeah, I just get to talk this way. No, uh, uh, we're, we're good. We're good. Uh, yeah, uh, keep going. They're kindly serving as my bodyguard. They're assisting me with a number of other matters, too. The assistance goes both ways, actually. We all one big happy family! At this point, especially, it's hard to. I, gu I guess they don't really have any logic for why it's post game, but it is technically pre post game, uh, narratively. Yes, that's right. Family. Indubitably. I have a rough grasp of our present predicament. You've come to hear their side of the story, have you not? You make it sound as if these are no ordinary Agnians. With Queen Malia's assistance, we have been closely monitoring them on both sides. I'll get to the point. These people belong neither to Keves nor Agnes. To be precise, they were formerly Agnian soldiers, but now they claim to have lost their faith even in Agnes. This intense distrust of the future has driven them to wanton destruction. So they stopped believing in anything, and now they just want to ruin things for everyone. That's awful. The Keves and Agnes of today are founded upon mutual trust and respect. At least that is the mood we try to foster. But the reality is that not all of us can readily accept these changes. The recent outburst was just an act of passion. But if like-minded people were to congregate... They may gain enough momentum to pose a legitimate threat, is that it? So they're the ones who have incited the latest uproar, I take it. We might have to prepare for the worst-case scenario. Minanabite! What make worst-case so bad? He means there could be an attack on the Queen's life. <laughs> that was the worst case! That's one of the reasons. But we simply can't afford to leave this be. I don't believe they truly want to oppose us. Rather, they feel they are at an impasse. One cannot so easily change their way of life or how they view the world. Perhaps I ought to assert my authority as queen after all, and... No. If you lock horns with them now, it's very possible they will shut you out completely. I would rather have you prepare to welcome them in with open arms. That's incredibly kind of you. So, where do we find these troublemakers? I, uh, I really like how much, like, effort it feels like Nia's exerting. Just through the voice acting. It seems they're lying low at Hovering Reef 6. Seriously? That's right next to the castle. Oh, perfect. I don't need to remember where that is. Presumably, they approached under the guise of their fellow Agnian soldiers. The castle isn't on particularly high alert, so it makes sense that they wouldn't arouse too much suspicion. Yes, as sad as it is, I hear they're pooling their forces. You'd best be on your guard. Fear not. I am no stranger to battle. And besides, look at my entourage. You shouldn't have to get used to this. Experience can make a person stronger, it's true. But it can't take away one's pain. That goes for queens, too, you know. The moods turn dark all of a sudden. I'm aware of that. Thank you, Nia. Take care, you guys. It does feel as though they're hinting at some specific shit that went down. Obviously, some shit went down to get it to this point. But it is interesting all the same. Oh, the other castle. That's what they're talking about. Let's see, Daisy. For some reason, I thought it was by Agnes Castle, but no, it's by Kaves Castle. And that's why they had the stuff in a boo there. Don't do anything stupid, Melia. Nor should you, Lance. 
<laughs> That's quite the thing to say, Lance. To your queen. I imagine that's that feels like a callback to something that uh from the original party. I don't remember enough I don't remember enough to say for sure, but it feels like it at least. Autolevs. They've hauled those things out here. Can't catch a break, can we? As Lady Nia informed us, we should expect them to be hiding in an ambush somewhere on this island. I must remind you that we are only here to negotiate. If possible, I would like to avoid combat. Sure, but what if they're the ones to come at us first? Then suppress them at once. We could even disable their Levnesses, so that they have nothing with which to fight back. Hey. I've been meaning to ask for a while now. You really know how to handle yourself in a scrap, don't you? Yes. I'm no stranger to the field of battle. Nor is this the first attempt on my life. What? Even though you're the queen? Precisely because I am the queen. Is it really so strange for nobles to be acquainted with violence? There was even an assassin within my family once. Oh, right. Uh, fuck. That's probably from the game, too. That does sound familiar. From, like, the original quest? <gasps> I'm sorry. I hope we didn't bring back painful memories for you. Oh, my goodness. It sounds familiar. Was that from when, like, we first recruited her, basically, in, in the first game? Please. It's perfectly fine. Many are the things that have shaped me into who I am today. Learning to accept my weaknesses. Understanding each other's differences. Opening one's heart to others. You must have been in some real good company to learn all that. <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Back when I was young and naive, my companions taught me some invaluable lessons. And you took those lessons to heart? Yeah, she was the one with the character arc in that game. <laughs> That's how you came to be such a magnificent queen. Though times may change, their teachings will never fade, which is why I still believe. I believe that our last breaths should not be those of despair. I think that's a wonderful sentiment. Hello? Nobody at home? Is it a tra- Ah, oh, there we go. So Where were they hiding? Um, well, a little late on that one. Melia. I'll handle this. My name is Melia Antiqua. I wish only to speak with you. Speak with us? Rip us to shreds, more like, Queen of Keves. You are the ringleader, are you? State your name. And why should I tell you? The world I once knew is gone. They told us defeating Kevez was the only way for us to be saved. It was the right thing to do. The just thing to do, and I believed it. Do you realize how many of my friends died in pursuit of that dream? You think I can just tell them, yeah, sorry guys, you died for nothing? He's lost his core. Maybe we should step in and deal with him. But Melia told us she'd handle this. You ruined it! You joined forces with the Agnian Queen, and you drilled these notions into our heads! You take away our friends, then sully our reasons to live. My friends died that day, but you've killed them all over again! And that's why you've decided to destroy everything! That's right. We don't need a shitty world like this anyway. Is that all? I told you to stay where you are! Melia! Hey! What are you trying to pull? I could ask you the same thing. Why do you hesitate? You could attack me right now. <laughs> Shut up! You have no desire to destroy anything. You are simply trying to get by in a world where nothing makes sense anymore. And that's why I'm here. 
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Okay. This, I'm on easy, over leveled. This isn't gonna be difficult. It's just gonna be. Oh, I hope we didn't have to actually take them out. Fire and ash! Uh. So that's how it is. That's how you look down at us. Sorry? I know all about you. You queens live longer than any of us could ever dream. You aren't like us, are you? That's how you can just sit on your thrones, toying with our lives like... She is like us. If you hurt her, she feels pain. She bleeds all the same. Mio. That's why she came all this way to hear your story. She wants to know more about you. She wants to share her time with you. What? Yeah, right. Our lives are like the blink of an eye to her ilk. Just because she lives longer, it doesn't mean she's any different from you. We're all here, aren't we? We're all alive. That's enough, Mio. Now, I don't actually agree with the idea that there's no difference there. There is such a significant perspective shift based on the length of your life relative to the people around you. I see now how you feel about all this. Mate, have you been making that speech to the Cavesi officers too? Uh... But that said, I don't think, like, he's making a ton of, like, really big assumptions about how she's thinking, but the same is a... She's still a living, breathing being. Yeah. Don't treat her like she's some alien. Telling everyone that Melly is different to everyone else. You bet I did. She's so far up herself, it makes me sick. If anyone's warped, distorted here, it's you. Then what am I supposed to do? Who else am I supposed to take my rage out on? Tell me the truth, right now. The pure, unadulterated truth. That I cannot tell you. The answer lies in you and you alone. You must have realized by now. There is no weight to the truth of another if you cannot judge it for yourself. <sighs> if you must have an object of hatred in order to live your life, then let it be me. But promise me that someday you'll live for the things that truly have worth. Just as you and your comrades in arms once did. It's already too late. I can't go back. Not after what I've done. I highly doubt that. You are still breathing, are you not? Are you alright? I told you. I am no stranger to battle. Besides, I could not tolerate simply watching from the sidelines. Melia. Their sadness, frustration, anger. I shall never forget these feelings. Come. Let us proceed to the next location. So just it came and had a talk. Hopefully it turned out okay in the end. Only the future will uh, only the future knows. What are you hiding, little guy? Hey, isn't this valuable? Let's put it away for safekeeping. No use for any of these, but I still want to go grab it. Oof. That'll leave a bruise. Ooh, where do you get you? Be more gentle, Commander. Ooh, this is getting spicy. Don't expect miracles. I'm trying my best to heal you here. Here, let me. Thank you, miss. That would be great. What? You're... That should suffice. Can you walk? Yeah. 
I think so. Queen Melia? But to what do we owe the honor? What good is a ruler if they cannot send aid to their people in times of need? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Zion. Please, let me have your report. Hey! Hey, look! Isn't that the Queen? What? Like the real deal? Right, back to my post. Excuse me. Origin's attack unfortunately caused a landslide near Alfetto Valley entrance. We've been treating the wounded and also dispatched a survey team to scan the area. The thing is, we've lost contact with the survey team. The line just went dead. There was a really loud sound earlier on. Could be more rocks. I see. Then we'll take it from here. Uni, how are you doing over there? I've healed up the worst of them. Now they just need a little R&R. &R. Oh, really? I've got to lie down? Come on. If you've got the energy to flap your trap already, you'll be back on your feet in no time. I see I had no cause to worry. How many were on the survey team? Three. One was piloting the Levness. Okay. I've sent the landslide's location to your iris. You can confirm it for yourself. Got it. Uh, if you happen to see an Anita from the survey team, could you... Uh, to tell her to give back what she owes? Well, that doesn't seem like the priority at the moment. But that's interesting to bring up. Because I'll be waiting here until she does. I'll be sure to deliver the message. I'm so sorry to have let this come to pass, everyone. This ordeal will be over ere long. You watch yourself too, your majesty. Don't want to see you get hurt neither. I hope you find our friends. Yeah, I hope everything one does uh, well. We'll make some new friends. You really love Colony 9, don't you, Uni? I can tell from the way your wings perk up. Really? That's slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Something smells exquisite. Ooh. Hey, look at that! A survey branch Levness. Quickly, we must rescue them at once. Oh, there's a few of them out and about. Okay, no wonder it was Hello. so far off the... Who's... Uh, there! It's all right. We're here to help. Stay still. I'll get that heavy thing off you right this instant. Right, that's her injuries about treated. You're a survivor by nature. Good fortune that we made it in time. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I thought I was a goner. Say, you wouldn't happen to be Anita by any chance? Yeah, I'm Anita. Oh, that's great news. There was a guy in the rescue tent who was really worried about you. He said he wanted you to pay him back or something? I suspect that was merely an excuse. He seemed really rather worried. Very insistent that you make it back. Ah, oh, it's got to be Kurt. We've been in the same unit since first term. He can be a little faint-hearted at times. I'd better go and try to calm him down. Ah. So you've been joined at the hip since childhood? Joined at the... Sorry? Ah, the concept is lost on them. Melia. Pones. People, do the kids still say pones? I mean that you were inseparable. You've had a special connection throughout your lives. Lives? Interesting. You understand each other's feelings and you lift each other up in times of need. Is what I'm trying to say. I guess... I guess both of their lives. Sorry, I was thinking about it, the reincarnation stuff, but... <laughs> Your friends are irreplaceable. Be sure to treasure them. Yes, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Does she have someone in mind herself? There's someone out there special to her. Oh, what a... But then, she was imprisoned in Origin for so long. So maybe they're already... they're doing yeah we should probably focus on these other ones rather than casually trying to ah! his foot's trapped we'll need to move the rubble very carefully 
Using arts would be far too dangerous. In which case... Someone call for heavy lifters? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll clear this out in no time. You're in safe hands now. Y yes Thank you. Hang in there just a little longer. We don't want to overlook anything. Perfect. Is that everyone? Or there's one more. Hold on. It's going to be okay. There was a second landslide. Don't mind me. Look for the others. We're well aware, but firstly... Don't worry, we saved you for last anyways. Feels warm. Do not move from this spot. We're going to check the immediate area. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Right, I think that's the lot of them accounted for. I wouldn't relax just yet. The landslides have formed a sharp incline, in turn increasing the risk of loose rocks. I hardly need to state this, but the possibility of further landslides remains high. Getting caught in another landslide would be undesirable. We must make some distance, and quickly. Back to Colony 9. Indeed. I guess there's a lesson to be learned there. And it's, um... Good job, everyone. I, I, <laughs> I'm just joking. Actually, like, I work at a place that highly emphasizes safety. Like, it's one of the most important things, because it is a dangerous site that I work at. Very much. I'm very, cu I'm very curious about the safety share on this one. Let's have that meeting. Deep dive on the... The queen has what returned! Happened. Deep, deep dive on what happened, what we could do better, how we can trigger on uh, threats and <laughs> immediate danger possibilities, as well as what corrective actions could we make to our systems and uh, sort of procedures, and just uh, perhaps maybe we can upgrade the lev uh, levenesses in order to make it so that they have detection of oncoming stellar stuff, or maybe movement patterns. You could, if it's a survey, now uh, if it's a survey group. You, maybe you can make a special mode that makes it so that it moves out of the way and stuff like that. <gasps> Welcome back! We're glad to see you safe, Your Majesty! We were at the site of the landslide, but the situation remains precarious. It is vital that we remove the remaining rocks upon the slope in the coming days. You shall have the castle's aid, of course, but your own assistance in this matter would also be most appreciated. Oh, we'd be glad to help! Never want to have to go through this again! But if we hadn't, we'd never have got to meet Queen Melia. Oh, perfect. Yeah, do this again then. That's definitely a reason to do this again. I don't regret it. Because I learned today that we weren't forsaken. I... That is... I'm just imagining the safety share meeting being like, it was a good thing. Forsaken? <laughs> the only time we normally ever get to meet your majesty is at the homecoming been through so many bitter times but we've never known you to help us not so directly you make a valid point from this moment on i will endeavor to the best of my ability to allay your fears ha huh. you're too kind your majesty then in the interest of allaying fears there may be another matter i would like to discuss with you oh yes speak up then i would like from this moment on to let the colony elect their commander of their own volition and I don't mean just for appointing a successor after death, or for the purposes of reform. If they make their voices known, then I think I would gladly relinquish my position as commander this second. What? What brought this on? Then, you wish to formally step down? Well, I was always the consul's favorite plaything. I was a mere pawn, dancing to his whims, enacting his orders. But in coming to terms with our new life, I began to realize the qualities needed in a commander are very different nowadays. Please don't belittle yourself, Sion. You've worked so hard to get where you are. 
believe me, I've thought about this long and hard. About who really fits the role of a commander. It must be someone we all look up to. Someone with whom we can share our path. Xeon. While I do not object to your logic, Xeon, I hope you realize that our role is in essence naught but a figurehead. What that figurehead represents, however, is something only you can decide. It's down to me. A person is not shaped solely by their birthright or innate qualities. As long as you remain critical of who you are, whether you deserve the position or not has little relevance. This crisis of conscience, you once experienced it as well, Your Majesty. Of course. Everyone has their battles with self-doubt. How else does one grow as a person? If you remain true to yourself, then you have nothing to fear. In this rich tapestry of life, you must find the path that you are willing to weave. I will give it more thought, then. Very good. I look forward to hearing your answer. Melia must have had her share of hardship to talk about these things in such depth. I will also say, elections aren't the worst idea, especially if you're not trying to be military people anymore. If she's ever stuck in a rut, I wonder if we'll be able to console her in the same way. Would she even want that? Penny for your thoughts, Noah. No, it's nothing. We should get going. We've got some traveling ahead of us. Indubitably, one more. The one that I thought might be the most interesting, I say for last. Though that one in itself was pretty good. Your Majesty! Oh, yeah, sorry, it loaded immediately. Hello. Sorry to bother you. I'm sure you're rushed enough as it is. I'm here to discuss the speech you mentioned. Did I come at a bad time? No, not at all. We've been stretching our necks every day, waiting to see if you'd turn up. I too have been anxious to meet you. I'm sorry to have been a source of anguish for you this long. It's all been for today. I don't consider any of it a waste. Now, on to the matter at hand. Rallying the troops. With the final battle with Mobius looming before us, we're doing our best to prepare. But we need more than just supplies. A battle to determine the fate of the world is hardly a light topic. Everyone's beside themselves with worry. Some poor souls have completely snapped. We're never gonna last an actual combat at this rate. I don't blame them. No matter how noble our cause, the fighting will cost us lives. We're caught between the future we desire and the present, which is ours to lose. It's a place beset on all sides by fear. You got that right. Especially when there's no guarantee you're gonna be coming home. Even a brief address would do. Just as long as you speak to them somehow. I understand. I don't know if I'll be able to get through to them, but I will try. We'll be your guides while in the city. Make sure you don't lose your bearings. That would be most appreciated. While we're here, would it bother you if I took a look around the city itself? Please, be my guest. I think we'd all like that. But maybe we could take her to Centrillo Parade. There's plenty of people around there. No objections from me, but there are some rather, shall we say, ardent followers of the Queen up that way. If they get too insistent, you might need to give them a friendly nudge. Oh yeah? All right, we'll keep a lookout. Okay, sounds good to me. I just want to not accidentally trigger this other one by accident. Because uh, I want to keep these uh, quests separate. I do wonder, so if there are ardent, ardent followers of her, that means they do at least think positively of her. Yeah, things are sort of, uh, that's something, that is quite the thing to focus on. It is a bit more thrown together. Now this is a far cry from the colonies and the castles. Here is a place where people can truly live, make a home. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw this place. 
For all these different people I'd never seen before. Things of all shapes and sizes. I wish I had been there to see your reaction. A shame. See my mouth hanging open like a lummox. Not worth it. You seem to take it all in your stride. None of this surprises you. It's more that I'm assailed by old memories. Technologies of old are put into practice here. I feel the industry of those times. Huh? Is that really you? Queen Melia? Uh, yes. I do go by that name. I knew it! I knew it from the moment I laid eyes on you! You were something special! <sighs> Finally caught up. Hey, old man, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Well, thanks for your concern, but I'll decide when and how I'm going to pop my clubs. Why pop your... <laughs> That's, doesn't, that doesn't sound like a... Okay. Not, not for dying, for something else. I've lived my whole life for this day. Heck, you all have, haven't you? Of <laughs> course we have. You've returned to us at last, my queen. You really are as radiant as they say. Hey, fancy a bite? You should come by my restaurant, sample a few of the local dishes. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your seedy little bistro. She wants something memorable. Oh, say that again, I dare you. If you hate my establishment so much, I'll be more than happy to bar you from it. Permanently. All right, people, don't shove. You stop arguing. We don't want to scare the Queen now. Oh, my days! Is that what they say here? Crazy! Oh, I, I guess the, uh... I guess if they don't have the concept of a god, then they... The fact that time is like they're, they have so little time by concept at the beginning. Maybe days really is what they like, like worship in that same way, where that would be the instinct. Come on now, this is getting excessive. Oh, leave them. Everyone's been living for this moment. It's always been my dream to see the true queen come back to us. A lot of us die before we get the chance. Yeah. But now it's actually happening, before our very eyes. How can we possibly keep calm when a miracle is unfolding? I am so grateful to you all, my people. I would like to express a few words of gratitude, if I may. It is a joy to see real human activity once again. After all these years, I see that you continue to remain strong. Of course we do. Got to protect what we love, right? That's right. I'm not resting these old bones so long as there's life in them. We'll hold out for decades more if we have to. We have our queen. And even Ouroboros stand by her side. With their strength behind us, Mobius won't stand a chance. Looks like that takes care of that. Indeed. Wow. Decades plural. And here we are, happy enough if we can reach one. The way I see it, you lot are far more incredible. You've achieved so much in so little time. Huh? That's only natural, ain't it? Got to get stuff done in the time you have. No way I could imagine having to fight for 40 or 50 years. Feel so snuffing far away. Uni. By the by, I'm not seeing the story spinner anywhere. Story spinner? He's this old guy who knows more about the city's history than anyone. He's like a walking encyclopedia. Real curious bloke. Normally he'd jump at an opportunity like this. <laughs> well, he's no spring turkin though. If he hears he's missed his chance to meet Her Majesty, he might drop dead from the shock. Heavens. Where might we find this person? I think we should pay him a visit. What, really? I'll bet it'd make his day. But are you sure? I would like to try to meet him, if at all possible. As you wish. It's your call. 
You'll probably find him at Mitya Lookout. I hear it's one of his favorite spots. A walking encyclopedia, is he? Then we can expect an enlightening conversation. What com good conversation are you expecting? Ah, I cut it off by accident, damn it. Damn me and my... Yeah. Who? Oh, just need to walk like two feet. Oh, and what's all the fuss? Whose funeral is it this time? Helen. That does sound vaguely... No, it doesn't actually sound familiar. It sounds familiar because it's similar to Caleb. That's why it sounds familiar. Nobody's, I should hope. We were just wondering if... See... The reason I was hoping it would sound familiar is like if it's just like some random person she like sort of recognizes. Oh, old Melly. Whoa, oh, this this can't be real. So somebody pinch me. What if it's actually my funeral? Then that would mean where, where the places have I ended up? Yeah, uh, this is Mitya Lookout in the city. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm told you have quite the wisdom. I was hoping to ask you a few things, if it doesn't bother you. The fact that she was called Melly, though. Oh, I get ya. Yeah. The Queen herself is asking me personally to tell her a story. <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. Hey, all the Boris kids, give me a good wallop here, right on the kisser. Sure thing. Which one? All of us? I... I didn't throw my weight into it. Let's all calm down for a second and just talk sensibly, please. Oh my fucking goodness. <laughs> oh, I see. A rousing speech for the city, eh? What a stroke of luck. Even after that battering, I know I'll be content in the afterlife. Oh, don't start. You were the one who asked us to. Well, it seems life's worth living a little while longer. <laughs> don't want to disappoint old Queenie now, do I? Go on then. Ask away. Oh, uh... Well, uh, first questions first. What do you know of Melia? I've been wondering, when you first saw Melia, I kind of got the impression you knew more about her than you let on. Of course I do. Have you seen the stacks of literature they've got here in the city? Packed to the rafters. There's passages on the true queen, too. And you betcha these eyes have read them all back to front 20 times over. So you know all about her? <laughs> naturally, naturally. <laughs> here, I'll give you an example. It is a lesson on fact that Her Majesty is squeamish around shiny bugs. Who wrote these books, I wonder? What? How can you possibly know that? There was also a little morsel about how she found rainbow bugs particularly revolting. They're extinct now, but uh, I reckon they're beasties about the size of your fist. Whose bodily excretions make them glow and. All right, enough. You don't need to go into such detail. The mere memory gives me goosebumps. <laughs> don't you worry. I've got plenty more tidbits like that up my sleeve. We don't want to hear it. Look, I will tell you what I want to know. I mean, I want to know who wrote these. <laughs> who put these into text to just like. It has to have been someone, right? That, like, actually knew her and was with her on one of those adventures. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm all ears. When you get to the age you are, after living for so many decades, you must have had to say goodbye to so many of your friends and stuff. Must be a lot of crap to deal with. So, uh, how do you cope? 
<laughs> the pits is what it is. There are times when I wonder why I don't just curl up and die. But see, life ain't all sunshine and roses. <laughs> I think that's part and parcel of it. So what? You just have to go on living in misery? You've got to be joking. Uni, are you all right? I just want to know what it's all about. Growing old. There's folk out there who get to live so much longer than us, and they still choose to fight. It just feels like I'm always taking a back seat. Like I'm getting left behind. But I want to be there with you guys. Even if it's just in spirit. Uni, I had no idea that was how you felt. Yeah, sorry. Hard to put it into words, really. Even if those you once loved are no longer a part of this world, lonely as it is, and painful though the memories be, it is not wholly a tragic tale. For you can keep close to your heart your memories of those dear to you. And that is something to take pride in. That is what will give you strength. Admittedly, my life took a very different path to the likes of my companions here. But such are my thoughts. Ah, never a true word was spoken. That's one for the ages. Where's my notepad? The fact that you're worrying about us here and now, Uni, I don't think we'll ever forget that. Your feelings will transcend time. I'd have to agree. So don't feel like you need to be doing anything special for us, Uni. It's reassuring enough just being the way you are. <sighs> don't suppose you've got any tissues on you? Spark, why'd you have to go and make it all soppy? Nobody is leaving you behind, Uni. <laughs> if you ever feel oh. distance between you, you need only speak out. Wait, was this all just to tell me that? That's about the size of it. <laughs> Good luck out there, young'uns. Don't just pass it off as your own speech. Uh, say, Melly, uh, would you mind if we shook hands? He's straight up ignoring me! Who wrote the books? I don't see why not. I'm too lazy to go see if there's a library. Oh, you angel. Now I can shuffle off this mortal coil without regrets. Knowledgeable, my ass. Life's a cruel journey from one end to the other. You only get one chance to walk it. But if there's one thing that gives it all meaning, it's love. That's very sweet. That ain't something I have to teach you young folks, though. Your friends are lucky fellows. Monica said something like that, too. Still doesn't make much sense to me, though. <laughs> well, love takes many forms. There are as many ways to show it as there are people. It's very, very interesting as a, uh... I assume he's talking about more than romantic love, basically. Which I get. I would definitely not define my own feelings of purpose and satisfaction in life by love, basically. I love my family. I wish them the best. Also, I don't see them that much. My friends are awesome. Love might be a strong word, but I would be devastated if something ever happened to them, basically. Uh... I'm also aromantic, so that's not really a concern for me. I get a lot of satisfaction out of experiencing new things and creating new things. I, I guess that's, that's where I find it. It's not love, but it's like the process of developing these ideas and fleshing them out and making them real, seeing them sort of come to life in a sense as well as taking other people's creations and those experiences, because that's how I always phrase why I like video games as much as I do, and just movies and other stuff. Video games tend to be my number one, but still. I like it because, and the reason I like story-driven ones is because it's like experiencing, 
experiencing more of the world through the imaginations of others, right? I could say, oh, hey, I'm going to go see this mountain. That is way less compelling emotionally and satisfying to me than seeing something like this, this sort of story, this sort of world. It doesn't matter if it's fictional. I'm experiencing something fantastical. Fantastic and great. I don't care if it's fictional because that's not the important part. I'm experiencing this thing and that. The fact that there's so much of it out there to pursue and so many new things I can constantly go do or make myself. That is the sort of thing that makes me sort of wish I could live forever. But beyond that, <laughs> it's a very interesting discussion. Everyone finds their own purpose in life, but I am of a strong belief that there is so much in the world to experience that there's so many cool, awesome things in the world to experience that there's always a purpose to be found. I'll remember that. Thanks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we should probably be getting on. Till we meet again, story spinner. Indeed, indeed. Safe travels to you, your majesty. Cool, cool. Oh, there we go. That's all it was. I think we've done the rounds here. Let's head back to the castle. Makes sense. Your majesty. Good job, everyone. You've returned. I trust it's been quiet in my absence. Yes. I see that you have calmed down. Yes, I have realized. However fervent my loyalty, if I am ever the source of a highness's anguish, it does no good. You think too deeply, Isel. Tis your mind's fiction. Ah, I will rectify that. I am sure you will. How was your trip? And what of the world? Mankind's follies. People never learn. Whatever the passage of fate may bring, we must never lose the spirit of defiance, lest we submit to injustice, as we once did. Again, why does she look so sad? Oh. My friends and I, we... we fought hard for all this. We staked our lives on this future. And if there's a chance to keep it that way, I too will be happy to sacrifice myself for this world. Snuff that for a laugh. I hate that. You're the important one here. Pardon? It's true. It's something I noticed before. As befits a queen, you're always thinking about your subjects. But who thinks about what's best for you? Seeing you suffer alone like this, none of us like it. It's too sad to think about. Losing you, that is. You're one of us. Yeah, think about how much you always think of us. It's only fair if you let us do the same for you. Melia, you are needed but in you this just, world. But you just said words, but though. You weren't born solely for the world's sake. That may be so. However, I... If you permit me, I'll gladly lend you my strength. Not because you are our queen, but because we're travelers in the here and now. So we should live together. I'm glad you're with us, Melia. Fighting alongside you all is the best! Yes. You are right. How funny. Though wisdom is said to come with age, still you all seem to teach me so much. If some things elude my grasp, your words, Show me that there is more, more to life. 
They guide me when I run astray. Again. And again. How fortunate I am. To have you. <laughs> now that's more like it, girl. Melia, thank you. Thank you for always having believed in us. That's one thing I would never doubt. Now we embark on our quests to create the future. Yes, it's ours. I did not expect them to actually do a straight up flashback. This is the reason they made the remakes. They made Definitive Edition solely for that. And it was worth it. All the money for that soul scene. Worth it. Oh, so that's how they're doing. That's wonderful. Melia, Melia, Melia. I'm not going to pretend I remember all the elements of your character that defined you as you from back when I played the first game and the DLC. But you are always my favorite. And it's good to see you learning a few things. You know what they say about uh, character growth? You don't really typically actually solve the problem. You don't just remove that trait of yourself. You find ways to cope and handle it and adjust that element of you, uh, of you so that you can apply it to the world more effectively. And sometimes you'll lose sight of that solution that you came across. But you still have that wisdom of what's important. So a little bit of reflection and a little bit of looking back at what is important. Something to realign your focuses, new people that are going through similar struggles. I think that's an excellent way to end, end I think, her story. I'm quite curious how it will tie into the expansion pack DLC. So, like what she's talking about, like I, I have enough awareness that it has to do with the previous characters, so it almost makes me feel as though it's like almost foreshadowing for that going through it as such so yeah i think i'll leave it there for today and i'll see you all next time drive safely everyone